find a new car. A new car. You know when you see that car on the showroom floor just before you take it home? Yeah. That's as good as it's ever gonna look. <laughs> Pretty soon it'll have dents and scratches, parts start to go bad, then the new models come out and you're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> honey, can I just sit in it? <laughs> no, remember. <laughs> Life. You mean sex? Yeah, I married you, moron. <laughs> I'm too old, too. You're not too old. How would you know? Well, I don't know, but I do know I had grandparents who, well into their 80s, were still having fun. Their 80s? Yeah, good God. <laughs> what the hell kind of sex is that? <laughs> Was it good for you? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> trying to tell me there's nothing sexually going on between you and your wife? It's very difficult. She gripes about everything. Like what? Uh, she said I don't make the right noises during sex. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Want to hear what I do? No, no. <laughs> All right, you talked me into it. Now, wait a minute. Now, now be careful. These are going to be kind of pornographic. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> the weather channel <laughs> you know Walter I know you know better than I do but I mean is there any kind of foreplay for you guys foreplay at our age yeah it's come down to hey wake up <laughs> you know what oral sex for us is what she screamed screw you and I yelled fight me <laughs> Come on, Walter, your age. How do, how do you keep things fresh in the bedroom? Febreze? <laughs> I don't know. My wife and I heard that coffee's good for your sex life. Coffee, yeah, is it? No, it kept me awake through the whole damn thing. <laughs> I actually had to participate. <laughs> Doctor said it's that for my heart, too. All the caffeine. No, seeing my wife naked. <laughs> That's awful. Oh, you seen her too? No. <laughs> so is coffee good for the sex life or not? I don't know, but they're never gonna let us back into that Starbucks again. <laughs> well, we use the filter with that. <laughs> You know, Walter, despite how you act, I bet when you were younger, you were quite a ladies' man. I used to chase skirts all over the world, really, till I got to Scotland, and boy, was I surprised. <laughs> she had women everywhere. I dated a girl in India, really. Lovely young lady, sure. Weird-ass country. What was wrong with India? I don't know. Most of the women got a red dot in the middle of their forehead. What the hell is that? You are here. <laughs> Maybe it lights up when the coffee's ready. <laughs> Scratch it off, you frickin' win something. <laughs> Myself, Jamie Boy, and my crew leader, Nigga Big Balls, or whatever you want to call them. Y'all have a great day.